In this video, I'm going to talk you through how I plan for my own brand photo shoot. Everything from the location, what the vibe was going to be, what I was going to wear, what props I was going to take, and how I communicated all of this with my photographer so you can better plan and prepare for your own brand photo shoot. After working with over 200 website clients, I see so many people get stuck in that brand discovery process that has to take place before a website can be designed. I'm talking SEO, content, photos, fonts, colors. In this series, I am talking through each of those topics and showing you how to create those brand elements for yourself. And the last video, I will walk you through how to create your own custom brand guidelines. While the other videos are gonna give you more specific to-do tasks, this one is more so of a planning video. But since photos are such an essential brand element, I think planning is equally as important as writing a tagline for your website. So stick around, subscribe if you haven't already, so you can finally create that brand that you are proud of and confident enough in to show up. First up on the planning list is location. You need to decide where you're going to do your photo shoot. This will really help you determine pretty much everything else on your list. For me, I first thought about doing my photo shoot at like a trendy hotel or a trendy bar or a coffee shop, somewhere with my brand colors but ultimately I decided on doing it at a studio. Really the designing the row aesthetic is pretty clean and simple. That's what everybody comes to me wanting is a clean and simple design. So I decided why clutter up the background with a trendy place when the essence of my vibe is clean and simple. So to the studio we went for my photo shoot. Also likely if you're working with a professional photographer, they will know the studios in town and some even have a preference. So you don't have to go find the studio yourself find a photographer that you like their style and they will often have a studio that they will recommend. So like I said, deciding on the location first was really helpful because the next thing I did was decide what my vibe was gonna be. So for that, I turned to Pinterest and I just typed in like brand photos or brand photo shoot and started pinning what I liked. And from there, I could kind of see what I did and didn't like. I started deleting things that I had pinned that didn't really go with the rest of what I had pinned. And I also learned, at least in my space of website design and online business, that there's a lot of brand photos that have confetti, coffee, or girls without their shoes and their feet propped up, and that wasn't the vibe I wanted to go for. Going through Pinterest was really helpful for me to see not only what I did want, but what I didn't want. After I had been pinning a little while, I noticed that everything that I was pinning, I was drawn to like the professional, elevated, sophisticated vibe. and so. Really just a little bit of time on Pinterest helped me nail down that and feel confident in the vibe that I was after for my photo shoot. That Pinterest board also helped me decide what I wanted to wear. Again, like I said, there was pictures with their shoes off and their feet up and I realized I didn't want that since I was going for the more professional look. I kept being drawn to these people in all, like, all one color, very monochromatic which also was very on brand for designing the row. And I noticed I was pinning a lot of girls in suits. I don't have a suit, so I went to the mall and I bought a very hot pink suit for my photo shoot. I also noticed that I was pinning pictures where the shirts either were like a certain color or they had a certain structure to them. It wasn't just a plain shirt. So I also got a lace shirt with some kind of poopy sleeves so I could have some structure and texture in my pictures too. I'm very much a see it to know what I want kind of person and I think a lot of people are. So this Pinterest um, exercise was very helpful for me and that's why I recommend you do that too, to not only figure out your vibe but also what you want to wear. And just a little side note, I did take more than just the pink suit and the white lace top. I actually took this shirt and didn't even end up using it. I just took a variety of things from my closet that matched my brand and that were my favorite outfits and took those and we kind of picked on the spot. Like, let's do this one, let's do this one, like what, we're, what we were feeling and what was looking good on camera so far. So I guess my advice for you here is to like maybe pick one or two outfits that you know for sure that you really want to wear and then take a couple other things just in case to see what you're feeling in the moment. Now, I already had brand colors. I've had ex existing brand colors for however many years Designing the Row has been around. But for example, my friend Caitlin did her brand photo shoot just a couple days after me and she doesn't have specific like hex code color palette yet. She did the same Pinterest exercise. Um, she also did it for color palettes. She just searched color palettes and started pinning the ones that she was drawn to. And then she noticed a trend of greens and beiges and maroons. And so she kind of started getting things from her closet and buying a couple extra things 
to fit into that color palette. If you don't have a color palette yet, that is totally fine. That is why we do photos first. So let me know in the comments if you already have an existing color palette that you're planning your brand photo shoot around, or if you're using your photo shoot to really help you define those colors for your brand. And a little hint here, I will show you exactly how to do that a couple of videos later in this series. Next up on my planning list were props. I didn't use a lot of props, but I did take a few things, especially my laptops. Uh, as a website designer, a laptop is pretty obvious prop for me. I also took some notebooks, I took some pens, we used my Diet Coke a little bit, I took a microphone, but Pinterest again was also very helpful for me here in planning my props. Like I said, I saw the girls that were more casual for their online business brand photos. I also saw <laughs> some brand photos that were kind of along the lines of what I would use. And there's people like working with flowers right next to their laptop or with coffee and I don't even drink coffee. So I kind of thought like, how can I make this realistic and also me at the same time? And that's how I figured out my props. Just looking at other pictures for inspiration and then thinking, what do I actually use on a daily basis? And taking those with me to the photo shoot. And the last but not least for planning is pretty important is communication. So I've been to several brand photo shoots over the years, whether for myself or for others, just tagging along. And I know that communication is very important. You don't want to just dive right into your photo shoot and then not really have any of these things prepared and end up not being happy with your photos, right? Take note of all of these things as you discover these things. I put them personally in my iPhone notes app and right when I got to the shoot, I showed them to my photographer. I said, this is my vibe. This is the style. This is what I do want. This is what I don't want. And therefore we were on the same page from the very beginning. And I feel very confident that I will be happy with the pictures that I get. It also served as a checklist for me the morning of the photo shoot. I had to be there at 10, but I also had to get dressed, get ready, get my little boy up, get him out to daycare. That's 30 minutes and then come back 30 minutes for the photo shoot. So the morning was a little crazy. It served as a great checklist for like, don't forget your laptops. Don't forget these props. Don't forget your shoes. So I highly recommend using the notes app in your phone to make your plan and get it ready. So to recap, the five things you want to keep in mind when planning your brand photo shoot, the location, the vibe, what you're going to wear, what your props are going to be, and how you're going to communicate all of that to your photographer. So I hope this has helped you feel a little bit more organized and give you a way to prepare for your upcoming brand photo shoot. If you want more branding info, you can go to designingtheroad.com slash branding. And there you will find everything about this video series as well as the brand guidelines Canva template. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. The next video in the series is actually going to be me going through the pictures from the brand photo shoot I just told you about and picking my favorites. As a website designer, I have some specific guidelines on what kinds of pictures I look for. So I will be sharing those with you in real time as I go through my own photos. And at the time I'm recording this video, I haven't seen those photos yet, so it should be a good experiment to go through those with you. That said, that's all for today, so I will see you in the next one.